All right, just finished packing up. We're in Los Angeles right now. It's Friday night. We're going to Memphis, Tennessee. Over the last year or so, I've bought 71 units in Memphis, and I've never really shown behind the scenes of what actually goes on when I make a trip to Memphis. So just finished buying a 24 unit building. I'm bringing my investors who invested in that deal to Memphis, Tennessee, and we're gonna go show you guys the last couple buildings we bought and what goes on when I do go to Memphis, Tennessee for a weekend. We're at the airport now. Flight's leaving in about an hour. We're gonna go meet up with the investors before we take off on the flight. We're on the plane now. Everybody got seated next to each other. We're going to Memphis, Tennessee. I've taken this flight 20 times. The first time it's ever been on time. Please sit back, settle in, and have a wonderful flight. You know the Prince of Persia? All right. <laughs> well, I feel privileged to be close to you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Landed in Memphis. Midnight now. I'm gonna go to the Airbnb, knock out, and then tomorrow, all day long. It's working, dude. I noticed you from Instagram. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, it's the first time filming, so we're gonna go and like tour all the buildings and all that kind of stuff and yeah, put on YouTube. Idea, I know, idea. dude. Uh, especially to film the, uh, the process. Yeah, man, definitely nice to meet you. you were nice to meet you, bro. I saw you buying an apartment because at first I was gonna do residential, but yeah. now I'm looking at totally like commercial. I know, dude. I found some My girl, she found your page and she sent it to me. Oh, That's really? How I was inspired. <laughs> and I looked at it. That's the guy, Marcel. Holy shit. Thank you, cool, man. man. Awesome. Right. Nice to meet you, bro. So we came down to get the bags from the baggage claim. Somebody comes down and says, hey, Martel, is that you? Are you guys filming right now? And told him why we're here and why we're filming. Pretty cool to have somebody come up to me. Doesn't happen that often. Welcome to Memphis. The whole airport's this, just one road. Yeah. Alright, just got to the Airbnb, we're checking it out, it's late, it's midnight, everybody's just going to go to bed and we're going to wake up early, get the rental car, and then go drive around all day tomorrow. Saturday morning, we have to go pick up the rental car from the airport is actually where we're gonna get the rental car. Then I'm gonna come back, pick everybody up, and we're gonna start the Memphis tour today. So we're going to the airport, but we're going to the, just the rental car pickup enterprise. for a Range Rover, but the only thing they had was a minivan, so it's gonna be dope, though. All right, so we got the rental car now. We're gonna go pick up the investors that are back at the Airbnb, and we're gonna start the tour, and I'm gonna show you guys behind the scenes of 
some of the apartment buildings we've been working on, why we bought them, the location and neighborhood that we bought them, and then hopefully break down the numbers for you. And also show you guys the interior of the units, what they look like now, and then what I'm hoping to turn them into after. Yeah, appreciate it, boss. No appreciate it, man. No worries. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just sending you a link. Y'all just got talking about the movies about the, the one I wanted to visit to the multi family. Okay. I sent you a message. I'm sending you a link. I did. I did. I showed it to you. It's either one. I sent you one. I sent you the first one from my, uh, my trucking company. I sent you a while ago. Yeah, I was talking to you a while ago about the multi family. Okay. How much cash do you have? Yeah, oh, what the? Guess what? I, hey, today might be daddy. You see, yesterday was my birthday, man. <laughs> But, I, but I'm looking to buy into uh, multi family homes. That's you what I'm talking about. Oh, all right, bro. You don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Walked in the restaurant, and somebody came up to me again. It's never happened, I swear to God, only when the camera's rolling. This is the university, and then they're, they're building new stuff, and it's on both sides of this train track. University of Memphis. And then they have some student housing they built here. And then all the houses like south of it are probably like 80 or 90 grand. So all around here, they're 90. So there's no such thing as rent control at all in the no. state of Tennessee. No, no uh, rent control. Only, uh, uh, Los Angeles. No rent control. No rent control at all. Apartments that I tried to buy, those teal ones, oh, just, um, they just wanted way too much money and the rents were way below, like it needed a lot of work. I almost bought those, but I realized no students lived in those units and I was like, why? Because it's right next to the university, right? You would think that students would live there and I don't know, there's some funky stuff going on, so passed on both of them. But you see, if you make these nice for students, it would be a good option. But how much is making it nice? Probably like 10 grand a unit. And then you have to spend on the exterior work probably like 100 grand. So what's your, uh, on all your projects, do you have a maximum that you're willing to reinvest into one? No, so it, it's a deal by deal basis. And just as long as the numbers work. So we'll get a building under contract and then we'll go while we're under contract, do our due diligence. And then we'll have the contractors go and do bids and stuff. And then if the bids come back and they fit our numbers, then we'll move forward. And if not, then we'll ask for price reductions, et cetera. So do you feel there's other investors that are copying or following the same uh, um, calculations formula that you have for flipping or reinvesting into the city? For flipping and maybe for single family homes, yeah, but for apartment buildings, nobody else is doing it. We were getting the highest rents for a redeveloped 1960s product. All right, so this is the beginning of Midtown now. And so this is called Cooper Young. And our building for reference is one and a half miles away from this. About a month into this project? Yeah, a month, a couple weeks, yeah. Month. So this is Cooper Young downtown triangle. So there's like a bunch of bars and bars here, like the Alchemy, etc. And then there's a bunch of restaurants and stuff like that as well. So it kind of has the Austin, Texas yeah, like kind of vibe. Low key, no brand names, but see they're filling in the space. Yeah, yeah they got the rental bikes. And then they have another bunch of other cool restaurants. And there's even like an Urban Outfitters up here. So these houses, single family homes around here are gonna be like 200, 250 grand. You wanna get a picture? Or we can do it after, we can do it later. So live music is gonna be big here. So down there, they'll have live music at all those bars. And then there's another area just like that up there. It's a little bit more developed um, that I'll show you guys after too. Our building's right here. Right here. We're in a good area, bro. No. See, so it's all Central Gardens Historical District. That's what that sign just, plaque just said, and that house is plaque. And then our building is right here. Oh, what the f they painted it. Oh, they're working right now. All right. So there also used to be this really ugly vinyl. If you look, it's not done yet, but we're gonna put a con color? no, a, a, like a concrete slab on top of it, make it. Cool paint. exit. Uh, How many units are that? So that's a, uh, about 100 units. Studios there rent for 950. Studio? 950. These are one bedrooms and they're renting out for 500. And when you got this, it was, what was the occupancy? Uh, 100%. It was 100%. And now there's, as soon as we bought it, five units went vacant. Um, but we bought this building for 1.1 million bucks. We actually had it under contract for one and a half. We got a $400,000 price reduction. Spending a hundred grand on exterior, ten grand per unit on interior, and we'll increase the rents from five hundred bucks a unit to seven twenty-five, but most likely eight hundred. I'm hoping once all this stuff is done.
Wow, they did a lot. Holy shit. No, because there's been such bad weather the last couple of weeks. So last I heard, they haven't started painting, but obviously they've been painting for a couple of days. Yeah. And then so all new doors, all new door numbers. There's going to be all new handrails. Like the colors painted them. No, we painted those doors. All right, so this is one of the units when we bought it. We just cleaned it up and now it's listed for rent for 725. We didn't spend a dollar on this unit. We literally just cleaned it up. Yeah, so most of the units will have tile flooring, just different colors. They put, they put a light back on the back like so I've been here two months and I really appreciate that light back. Yeah. That's I really good. appreciate that. I really appreciate it. I'm Miss Sims. I live in number one. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, all these doors are... Do you like the new door? I love it. You do? Yeah, they're beautiful. And then all these new lights too. I love The it. exterior floodlights. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. The fence too? Yes. Yes, we do. I love it? the light on the back yeah. side of my yeah. window. I can see really good. Yeah. After they took the bars off, I was a little nervous, uh -huh. but that really made That's why me we put the fence and then why we put the lights to make it feel good. That made so, me feel really good. Good. And I love the way everybody has the lights. Those that little come lights. On at yeah, dark. so we put the sensors on them. Yeah. So they'll come on. <laughs> Bye. Nice to meet you. So All right, another unit, same example. The tile flooring, we're just gonna renovate the bathroom and we're gonna find this same tile, run it through, run it up, and then we're gonna renovate the kitchen, which you'll see around the corner. So this is the kitchen, which will put a washer dryer in as well and renovate. We're gonna try to find the same tile again and run it all through. And then we're gonna find a way to put a washer dryer in here too. I need to meet with a contractor tomorrow to figure out where we can put the washer dryer. Mm, that's probably gonna be the biggest ticket out of yeah. rough plumbing and electrical for it. So the plumbing is gonna run. There's a hot water tank right here. Every unit's the same. Hot water tank right here, the gas. This and is it just here for no real reason? It's bull yeah. oh, okay. So like we can, what we can do is put the washer dryer here and just tear it all out and do something. Yeah, I'll show you, that there's a laundry room right now, but it's taking one of the units. I did the math and I was like, right way right. better to spend the money to put the washer dryer in the unit than to have one unit that's losing rent to. Nice. So we'll, I'll show you the, that. So new 15 foot cedar fence that we built around the property make it feel more safe and secure and then you'll also see we put new lighting so these are floodlights up here so we put all new flood lighting so that at night when people come and park their cars they feel safe and at home you guys should have seen it before dude this was this was chain link chain link six footer and now you can hear stuff but you don't see the power plant you don't see any of that bull but you see all the single ladies living here and then they're like Oh, thank you so much for building the fence and then yeah, putting- Yeah, do like the, the fill. See, we put those floodlights too. So at night, this thing is Safer. all lit up. I'll go high end and I'll see what's the highest rent we can get. Okay. And let's say we get 800 for doing spend, you know, granite, stainless steel, uh -huh. right. and washer dryer and unit. Great. That's like the return of my dollar just doubled. So I'm gonna do that for every single do, year. Do, do for and if it doesn't make sense and I can't get that higher rent, then I'm gonna knock it down and I'll All right, we're back in LA now. The trip to Memphis, Tennessee is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of us showing our investors the 24 unit apartment building that they invested on just a month ago. And now it's under construction and showed you guys all the interior units. If you guys wanna see some more projects that we're working on, we are gonna be coming out with more videos. I have a bunch of homes in Cleveland under construction, some more apartment buildings in Memphis, Tennessee that I'm gonna show you guys the ins and outs and behind the scenes of those projects as well. So make sure to subscribe below. And if you guys have any recommendations for future videos, please comment below those suggestions. If you wanna get in touch with me, head over to Instagram. My handle is at Martel Antoine. Feel free to DM me any questions you may have. Tomorrow we'll be back at it and go oh, check out some more homes? projects oh, that we're working on. Oh, it's for sale, no one's in them. Sorry. Wow. Let's start all over again. Start all over.